y'all it's AK back again with another video today's video I'm telling you guys why I'm quitting Nordstrom as a digital stylist so let's get into it again guys AK here uh, for those that are new to the channel welcome my channel is all about fashion and style so specifically uh fashion styling tips fashion industry like news opinions and then fashion how to's and hauls and reviews so if you have not done so go ahead like share subscribe also leave a comment make sure to hit that notification bell and also follow me on all of my social media links as well specifically instagram because that's really where you see really me and what i do outside of youtube so i recently did a video or i want to say not recently but one of the last videos that i did which you can check out here is me doing vlog one a day in a life uh, as a digital stylist for nordstrom aka trunk club i gave you guys small little inside of my day and what i do as a digital stylist working from home we're gonna speed this up to december which is now I'm quitting. Next week is actually my last week. Um, it, I'll say this. It's a fun job. It's flexible. And honestly, especially where we are globally with the pandemic and it just seems like all these new different strands are coming on and people are really having to stay home and, you know, quarantine and just not be around the general public it's a dream ideal job but it does not pay shit. so when I got the job I yeah I was told what it paid I understood that and because of where I was with my finances I was able to kind of take a few months to see what I wanted to do and to give a quick little backstory before I took this job I was door dashing honestly making about the same money that I could have made at my old old job um, that I was working at um, before COVID. Um, I had a couple of customer service jobs here and there but in one of the last videos that I talked about I think the vlog one Nordstrom video I was very adamant about getting back into fashion and being purposeful in the job that I wanted to have. So because I was able to kind of use the last few months to see if this was going to be a job that I wanted to stick with and see if, you know, there was room to grow uh, within, if I could possibly get more money, X, Y, and Z. I said, let's go ahead and try it. If you don't like it, no harm, no, harm, no foul. You can put this on your resume and use it as leverage to get a new job. So I did know about the pay when I accepted it. They were very upfront about it. I'm not saying this as if Nordstrom was being shady with, you know, what they were paying or anything like that. What I'm saying is after training and kind of after getting into the role and realizing really what you're expected to do, you are simply a digital salesperson that does not make commission. And for me, that is an absolute no, no. And I didn't, it didn't dawn on me until, you know, we started to have, you know, our weekly meetings or what we call huddles and our one-on-ones with our managers. And because our job is very, um, what is it? It's very statistic based. So you have to meet certain thresholds or you have to be able to hit certain criterias in order to make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing as a digital stylist and part of those thresholds is how much money is sold or how many pieces are kept from the trunks that you pack and then how many pieces you know are bought the total value of those pieces x y and z so essentially if those are things that we are measured on why are we not getting part of that money it it doesn't make any sense to me on top of that i have for years tried to leave the retail world retail is not my forte i have two degrees in retail management but even those degrees now at the college that i went to they have actually been revamped into like fashion merchandising and like business development so they're not even having a focus on the retail side of things anymore because they're understanding especially because of our climate with the pandemic retail 
is ever changing and we have to focus on other things or other jobs or other parts that make the bigger wheel turn when it comes to fashion i don't want to have anything to do with retail i personally don't give two if you buy this or this or this if it's not something that comes from my company and i feel like and this is going to be in another video as stylist I, my job is not to play salesperson I don't care if you buy this or if you like it and whatever as a stylist if you come to me or I'll say this the people that come to me for styling come to me specifically because they saw me on Instagram or saw me out or was told about me from their homegirl or homeboy X Y and Z and they like my aesthetic and they and, and my confidence and they want me to show them how to dress based on how I dress and how my confidence and how I exude it. So if I already have the authority and the expertise and I tell you what to do and you don't want to do it, I don't give two because at the end of the day, you're still going to need a stylist. I don't. I know how I dress myself. So I am not someone that likes to play salesperson when it comes to styling. I hate retail. I don't give a damn. If you want to buy that I hate I'm not a salesperson that's just what it is I'm not gonna sit there and convince you to do any of that and in our job that's kind of what we have to do we disguise it as well you know you're speaking to the piece and you know you're giving all the qualities and boom 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 and blah 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 which okay that's fine but again you we take it a step further by making some of those metrics be based off of what is actually kept out of the pieces that we send to our customers so for me being a 30 something year old with 30 something year old bills big growing <laughs> bills i cannot make the amount of money that i make um to put in perspective i make in missouri 1470 an hour that's actually less than what you make if you go work at amazon come next month january 2022 that's going to be four dollars less than what you make if you were to go work at hobby lobby because hobby lobby is raising their minimum wage to 18 dollars an hour absolutely not um depending on where you are because since it is digital you can essentially work anywhere they base it off of basically the entry level sales person's positions starting pay so say if you worked in dallas they would base it off of your home your dallas stores starting pay for a salesperson there but again the thing is if you were to go work as a salesperson in the in-store nordstrom they get commission we don't so we're doing all of this stuff having to meet all of these metrics but we're not getting the base plus commission if it was base plus commission i would easily stay but because it's not it just for me and my experience it just does not make any sense i still think that it's a good position for anybody that is starting out in styling and needs something to you know especially if you're looking to do styling on the corporate side so doing something for nordstrom doing something for like a Saks fifth um you know any luxury brand stuff like that um i think it's a good starting point if you're maybe someone that just graduated from college if you're someone that is still in school and has the time depending on if they have part-time i think it's a good job for that if you are a two-person household okay fine i pay my own bills like no one else is responsible for my rate except for me so if maybe i had a boyfriend or a husband that i was sharing a rent with okay maybe i could probably stick it out just a little bit more but because i'm the only one responsible for these bills up in this house i cannot afford <laughs> to be paid what um i'm being paid and also just to put into perspective before covid right now i'm making 1700 dollars less than what i'm making and that what i was making wasn't even really that much but it was enough for me to be comfortable to make sure that all my bills were paid and still have a little chump change on the side to go play i can't even go play okay i could go play simply by door dashing which 
is a no, another conversation for another video, which I may or may not make. Um, but yeah, so I want to give you guys an update on that because I know a lot of you actually, I've had people comment on that video. I've actually had people watch that video and then find me on Instagram, which I very much appreciate you guys reaching out. Um, I love connecting with you guys off of YouTube. They saw my video because they were either applying or waiting for an interview. So we were just kind of talking about what the day-to-day -day was for the position so for those that have specifically applied we're waiting for an interview or maybe within the new training classes that are coming up my update for you guys is i am quitting as of january 1st it is simply because it does not pay enough and because I do not want to do anything in regards to retail and when you just think about it it just seems like it's more of a digital sales position versus a digital styling position but to each his own if that's something that intrigues you and if you can take whatever pay that they offer because it does vary by state then by all means go ahead Nordstrom is a great company I don't have anything actually bad to say about the company and the company actually has been one of the best companies that I have worked for and that's saying a lot because I know with big brands like Nordstrom many people don't have nice things to say about big brands when it comes to their work environment but Nordstrom has been one of the best companies that I have worked for so it's not the company honestly it's not really even the position but it's just I personally do not want to be a digital salesperson and I just can't accept the pay that's it hopefully that gives you guys some insight if you are looking to do that if you are looking to do some type of digital styling role it's going to very much vary between brands like what Nordstrom does may be similar to what Stitch Fix does, but at the same time, it may just be different depending on their individual customer needs and their individual brand and business goals. Um, but I hope it just gives you a little bit of insight. I may try to do one more day in the life of a digital stylist and may try to do um, a little bit more in depth before I do quit. So I have about a week to get that done. If you guys want to see that, let me know. And I'm actually going to be doing a trunk club unboxing and review from a digital stylist perspective. If you guys saw one of my last videos with the Nadine unboxing and review, I had a blog post which you can check out below, basically giving all of the style subscription services that you can check out as a plus size uh, woman. And with me, I decided okay well let's take it a step further check out some of these services do reviews and see if they're actually worth the hype so i want to do actually the uh unboxing for trunk club from a digital stylist perspective so that way maybe i can give you guys some tips and tricks on how to fill out your profiles what to actually request and basically if whoever packed my trunk did it per the Nordstrom digital styling standards. I checked out some pieces because I wanted to see if there was anything that I can wear on Christmas. Um, I have some interesting opinions on the box that I received. So we'll do that in another video. That's this video, you know, I'll let you guys know what the next adventure brings when it comes to my professional career in fashion. Um, but until next time, again, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And I will be checking with y'all soon. Bye.